Broomfield, we're building a new Health and Human Services building, and the Public Art Committee is excited to be working with the design team to create a warm and inviting place for everyone who enters. The Public Art Committee conducted a call for artists, and out of over 100 submissions, Colorado artist John King was selected. My name is John King. I'm a Connecticut artist. I'm interested in the way things move. I work with steel and real material, but I consider the real medium to be the actual motion of the piece. It's a deep love of nature that this all comes from. This is revealing what's passing by it right now that's invisible. What they're doing today is they're working on the wall piece and they're fabricating hoops, circles, and what we are working on is trying to make an incredibly strong bearing system that mounts to the wall. This is a piece of a similar size that is going to be on the wall, and it's so strong that you could lift yourself off the ground on this thing. It's a collaborative shop, basically. The people here are all exercising their artistic input as well, so it's very much about facing into the work and using everybody's talent. So I'm a Broomfield resident and I'm glad to be working on this piece that's going in Broomfield. We're actually experimenting with the finish on this product and then we're uh, testing a new size bearing so it gets it closer to the wall. Patience is very important. And this doesn't look like much now, but in the end it's going to look like jewelry. You have to, if you work around here, you have to learn to dodge. You're standing on the banks of the North St. Brain River just outside of Lyons. About two and a half years ago, this was in the center of the big flood that occurred here. The area that we're standing in right now had four feet of water in it, so you'd be up past your waist. This is a piece that is the predecessor for what's going to, part of what's going to be in the lobby. It creates this kind of field of turning cloud-like structures. It's called motion from balance, and it's the general theme of all the art that's going in the building. And I like the story of it, basically, that your most elegant movement in life is from a place of balance. This piece behaves really well in high winds and low winds. It never really gets out of its serenity. The other thing that's interesting about this piece is it's designed to be interactive. And what that means is the visitors to the building and the people that work there, as they walk down this hallway, are free to just reach over and touch and move the sculpture. It has wonderful bearings and it's heavy and will continue to move for quite a bit of time after they've passed. This is a great message for a health department uh, or any really public, publicly engaged organization because they're saying, you know what? This giant thing that we're doing here very much includes the presence of the, the real people that are uh, visiting. And it's not off-putting, it's engaging. This is the, the elements of the wall right here. We've got them outside. Go ahead and handle them. Members of the Public Art Committee have come up here to see some of the work being done by the artist. You're really just kind of going down like this is what I imagine people are going to do. It's like a speedboat going across the lake. It, it leaves ripples. He's the artist, but he likes to have input to make sure that he has a sense of what the community is looking for. I like the fact that those colors are there, then this blue kind of pops. <laughs> he just yeah. wants to. Some kind of primitive urge to spin. I think he's doing a really good job. I really enjoyed looking at the pieces and I like the movement. I think the kids would enjoy it. The way he thinks as an artist is fascinating. He, he really thinks about interaction of the light and the environment with these pieces. Also the mechanisms of how they move in terms of uh, a certain gracefulness um, is special that everyone talks about. To live with it, it's really lovely and it's really tranquil and I mean it actually go really well with the health and human services right. uh, motif because right. it's it's kind of soothing. He's shown in the past uh, how creative and how well he does things. So the quality is outstanding. And so it was, it was a very productive meeting. Here's I a love that. Little spinning point. All the pieces have been completed and now the artist John King and his crew have delivered all the pieces and now they'll be installing them on the wall. So there's that five feet. That's the upper corner right there. Height-wise, you're correct? I'm correct. All right, I'm gonna go in with my end. You're gonna just hold yours the way it is. It's really nice to get out of the kind of endless preparation and actually be placing the art on the wall. It would be great. It's, good. it's a good home. Up a little. Out a little. There. Ooh. 
the, the minute we got in here and started putting these things up, we thought, oh, this is really working in this location. It really feels great. We managed to pull off something that was what the goal was, which was to create some real warmth and interest in this part of the building. I think we need it down a tad and slightly over to the right a little. These pieces are interactive. They're meant to t be touched by you. And in so doing, they're saying, you know, it's all right that you would touch something in this building. Not only that, it's all right that you would actually be bringing it to life. It it's been great to see this brand new building spring up and, and here we've gotten to do uh, this great kind of humanist piece inside it. It feels great. I, I love it. Nice colors. Today, we are installing the third section of Balance Emotion. So they're using the lift right now so that they can get up to the piece which is suspended and attached to the ceiling. It hangs overhead and it's activated by the viewer down on the floor here right at one end of the lobby. It's a little blue ball that's sitting over in the corner. And uh, by turning it, the whole upper piece cloud of hoops and crescent shapes will rotate it's not quite like assembling an IKEA bureau yet. That's People just find it really fun and whimsical and makes the building really an inviting place to come to. We've had it up hanging from a tree, but this is the first time it's in the full height. And so we've run across a couple of surprises where we had to get a different piece of hardware. It does seem to be working. Oh, it makes me feel great. I'm glad it's finally come in here, installed. Public art is important, especially when you're talking about an institutional building like the Health and Human Services, because it makes a building more warm and inviting and adds a sense of whimsy to the space as well. It's really about the people who live in the city and that sense of both pride and also a sense of identity that a community has. And somehow that's the goal of the committee is to, in some ways, work with that idea of what does this community think of itself and its history and reflect that back in the community. Public art is critical to a community. It really helps define it. We're gonna take a major facility and have very high quality art so that the community can feel it, can see it, can enjoy it. Public art provides a sense of identity and place for a community and its residents. The City of Broomfield and the Public Art Committee are so grateful to John King for creating this incredible body of work that will be enjoyed for many years to come. If you're interested in learning more about the Broomfield Public Art programs, please visit broomfieldpublicart.com.